Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Mallard M301. This is a great rear kitchen floor plan. If you're looking for a travel trailer that has theater seating across from a TV and tons of countertop prep space, then this is one you definitely want to check out. Let's start right over here on the door side. As I mentioned, you can see the massive countertop space you have, basically taking up this entire space there, wrapping around a little bit on the back side of the camper as well. And with that comes a lot of storage. If you take a look underneath here, you will see big storage area there, perfect for pots and pans. You have a bank of three drawers there in the center and some additional storage here up top. Now, as I mentioned, the theater seating is directly across from the TV. You can mount the TV right there. Connections for that, of course. And you'll see the audio video cables there, which are connected to the multimedia center. But as we'll see in a little bit, as I mentioned, you do have a good shot from either the dinette or the theater seating. There's a sofa in this one too, so I do recommend getting a swing arm mount. So that way, depending on where you're sitting or you know how many guests you have in the camper, everyone has a view to the TV. Again, a little more storage right over to the side. Microwave here with the hood underneath. Then you have more storage going all the way across the top there. I'll open it up just to give you an idea of size, but it's plenty of room for you know your plates, cups, everything else you need up there, your glassware. Dropping back down. So not only do you have massive countertops, but they also give you a cooktop cover and sink top covers. So you have all that prep space too. This of course just folds up and back like so. The knobs do light up on the Furion oven and the oven itself there if you want to do some baking. A couple more drawers right here as well as your central vac. So, uh, you know, of course, one of the great things about having lots of linoleum in the camper is that it's very easy to clean up the, the vinyl flooring here. Uh, but the, the central vac makes it that much easier. That way you don't have to bring a vacuum with you. Just plug it in right there. You can vacuum everything up, especially if you have a dog that sheds that uh, comes camping with you, that is an awesome feature to have and something that's not normally found in a travel trailer. Right under the back is your sink. Again, it has the sink top covers. Both of these are cutting board quality. You'll see you have the 60-40 split bowl sink there. High rise pull out faucet, very modern cut. It is a pull out, making it a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. And also, uh, I myself, you know, I, I take a Keurig when I go camping. The thing I like about a pull out faucet, assuming of course you have a water filter in line, but you can uh, just fill up the Keurig little container just like this, a little reservoir, instead of having to take it out, bring it over to the sink. Just something that I always like. Uh, you also have an electrical outlet here. You'll have another one underneath the cabinets right in the corner here, and then another one right up front. So you do have plenty of electrical outlets there. You see a spice rack and plenty of space for a trash can underneath the sink. Right on the back walls, the Medic fridge freezer combo. This unit does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over, and you have pantry storage off to the side here. I'll open that up for you. Now the top door can't open quite all the way, uh, fully open because you have the slide fascia, but it still opens up far enough to be able to get in there. Now, because the slide is here, do bear in mind that when the slide is closed up, you will not have access to the refrigerator. You can get to the bathroom, but the fridge will be closed off. In the slide itself is the dinette. Uh, plenty of seating for four people here. The table, you can see, is removable. Now, this table system I actually like. Uh, some people see this and think that it looks a little bit less expensive. You know, it's a little bit cheaper than the posts they have with the flanges. The thing I like about it, though, is look how sturdy it is. I mean, you can shake that table and it's not moving because it's attached at the wall. So you can pop that out, fold the legs up, drop it down to create this into a sleeping space. But again, I do like this style of table for the sturdiness. Underneath the dinette on both sides is additional storage, electrical outlet down here as well, in case you need to plug in laptop, tablet, anything like that. You have the really decorative light above the dinette there as well, uh, you know, kind of taking on that modern yet uh, kind of old world feel, it kind of following some of the residential trends we see. Across the top is all additional storage. You have the kind of decorative glass on there. You will see you have backlighting. You can shut that off if you want. There's a switch on the wall. It is also strut supported for easy one hand operation. Now, as I mentioned when we started the video, two theater seats right here, right across from the TV. Some cup holders, this also lifts up so you have a spot for your remote. Both of these do recline. You kind of have the little pull style right here. You pull this up and the footrest will come up for you. 
And then right here is the sofa. So the thing I like about this layout is, you know, the, if you have additional guests, you're sitting in the theater seats, you have guests here on the sofa, everyone can have conversation, you know, and everyone can still be kind of centered around the TV. It gives that residential living room like feel. Also, if you need additional sleeping space for guests, this is a tri-fold sofa. You can see that right there. Uh, so that way you can fold that out. You can easily sleep one adult here, two adults if they're okay cuddling up a little bit. And you will also notice additional storage all the way across the top. The bathroom in the 301 is quite large. We'll start right down here with the foot flush lever toilet. As you can see, I have plenty of leg room, excellent space for the shoulders here as well. Over to the side is the shower. Take a step in here. It is a fairly sizable shower. I can fully turn around, uh, although, you know, if I'm sideways here, I'm not rubbing up on the door or anything, so it is pretty easy to shower. And as far as height, I am six foot. Even without the skylight, there's plenty of room here with that skylight. And even if you're 6'2", 6'3", you can probably still stand in here without having to bend down. You have the hand wand there and a couple shelves too. Right outside is good storage. Open that up so you can take a look. So perfect for a linen closet or you know some extra rolls of toilet paper, black tank chemicals. Mirrored medicine cabinet off to the side. Good countertop space here. Electrical outlet so you can plug in your toothbrush, hair dryer, whatever else. Another little cubby hole right down there and some plumbing access down below. The bedroom of the 301 features a queen size bed with nightstands on both sides. You will notice cubby holes as well as electrical outlets in those nightstands so you can have a CPAP machine on either side or charge cell phones at night. Right up above that is your wardrobe. You have mirrored doors on there, hanging rods on both sides, storage across the top. You can see the slightly barreled ceiling here as well, helping to give a little additional headspace throughout the camper. On the foot of the bed here on this wall, you'll notice a third wardrobe. So you have a lot of hanging space in this camper, which is awesome an additional drawer right underneath here tv hookups if you do put a tv on this wall i recommend getting a swing arm mount so it sticks out a little ways from the slider door that way you don't accidentally hit it when you open and close the door now that we've seen the inside let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 mallard m301 right up front are two 20 pound propane tanks with a cover behind that you have rails for your battery and over to this side, you will see this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there. It's already pre-wired and it will trickle charge your battery. Coming up the front is diamond plating, helping to protect the front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And directly above that is the gorgeous fiberglass front cap. You'll see how the cap actually rolls over to the side, making it a full cap, not a three quarter cap where they have the seam here. The big advantage of that folks, is especially when you're traveling in rain and you have all that water beating on the front, you have less chance for any kind of water penetration in the front end. Because it rolls over, the water has to be able to work its way in the back of the cap and into the unit, which more than likely is just not gonna happen versus having this seal right here on the corner. Plus there is an air barrier in there, so it does help a little bit on insulation values as well. Coming around to the side, you'll notice the pass-through storage compartment has a covered hinge, that way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is slam latch and it's magnetic, so you can put it up just like so. This is the grill right here. I'll show you the outside entertainment area and kitchen when we head back there. LED lights in there so you can see what's going on. A little bit smaller door on the other side, but you do still have access. You can see this one is nice and wide for some of those larger items. And right there are your controls for the power stabilizer jacks. One of the controls will operate the two front ones. The other control will operate the two rear ones. The Mallard does have a complete redesign on the exterior for the 2020. You'll see that they used uh, a lot of blues, whites, and some a little bit black and gray in here, trying to kind of bring in some of the more modern truck colors that you're seeing on the road today. So that way it's a great looking rig going down the road. Power awning, just touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go back in. And there's an LED light strip on there so you have light at night. You'll also notice two outside speakers. Those are connected to that multimedia center inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit right out here and be able to somewhat control your music. You had the More Ride Step Above Step System. It's a great step system, extremely solid. You can see that when I'm walking on it, I can bounce on it here. The steps hardly flex. 
You'll notice aluminum treads, that way they don't rust. Also grip tape on here to help get a little bit of traction. And you have a smaller grab handle there. You do have to take about a step or two up to, to get to it, but the grab handle will give you some added control when entering or exiting the RV. Also, these steps do have adjustable feet, so that way you can adjust it to the campsite that you're at. Making our way back a little further, you'll notice the spread axle system, or what they call the wide track suspension. Having the spread axle is great because it gives you better control when traveling down the road. Because the wheels are further apart, you will notice less sway. You'll also see the aluminum alloy wheels. That way they stay great looking because aluminum, again, it doesn't rust. If you plan on going somewhere you don't have water hookup, you'll want to make sure you put water in a fresh water tank. That's where that'll happen. Electrical outlet right over there to plug some items in. And in the back is the outdoor party center. Again, slam latch, magnetic, stays up just like so. You'll see the refrigerator for your condiments and beverages. TV hookup if you want TV out here. And you have a pull-out tray, so that way you can... Uh, you know, put some items on there. If you want to set up like a pseudo bar, you can do that. If you want to prepare some food there, you can do that as well. Because right around here is the arm for that grill. So you swing this around, set that grill on there. You have a little prep station there in the uh, outdoor entertainment center. That arm, of course, is mounted to the square tubular bumper. You do have end caps on both sides. That way you can store your sewer hose in there. Also mounted to that is the spare tire. Great thing about having it mounted to the bumpers, it's probably the easiest place to get to it. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees or underneath the camper. Right up top in the uh, center there, you will notice backup camera prep. If you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. On the off-door side, you will find your city water inlet right next to the black tank flush. This, of course, helps wash out the black tank so you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to do so. You'll see the outside shower with both hot and cold water access. And directly underneath that is the main termination with both a gray and black tank valve. You have a secondary termination in the back of the camper. Also in the back is your cable inlet and your 50 amp detachable power cord. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Mallard M301. If you're interested in this beautiful rear kitchen travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.